Hello everyone and welcome to a new Precious Plastic video. In today's video, we're gonna introduce you to the Central America series where we go and visit the best micro recycling projects in Central America. So if this is your jam, let's get right into it. Hello everyone, my name is Mattia and I travel the world visiting the most impactful plastic recycling projects out there. For the past few months we've been in Colombia visiting the most incredible and impactful plastic recycling projects built on precious plastic. If you want to know more, make sure to check out all the videos on our YouTube channel. But now I want to introduce you with the Central America series, so let's get into it. So I'm very excited about this Central America series because it's very much focused on the precious plastic sheet press. A lot of the people that you will see in the next few weeks they do use the pressure plastic sheet press to make incredible impact in Central America. For those of you new here, the sheet press is a machine that Precious Plastic designed, developed and open sourced back in 2020 and that is now completely disrupting the plastic industry. So far in the past three years, hundreds of people have already replicated this machine and are making hundreds of thousands of dollars transforming plastic waste into beautiful recycled sheets. And if you want to become one of them, you can go on preciousplastic.com and find out how to replicate that machine yourself. For the next five weeks, we're going to be visiting Panama, Costa Rica and Curaçao. A little disclaimer here, these might not be necessarily the best representatives of Central America. However, this time I only had a few weeks available, but hopefully next time I can visit more countries in Central America. But my God, these places are amazing, insane natural beauty. They are all surrounded by the sea, which is both a blessing and a curse, because that's very much where all the plastic waste comes from, washing ashore on a daily basis, basically from all of us around the world, into their beautiful beaches. Another common thread of these countries is that they're all too small to set up a proper plastic recycling industry. The volumes are just not enough to make sense economically, which means that there are tons of opportunities for small-scale micro-recycling. We'll start off in Panama, where capitalism shows all of its ups and downs. Here we'll visit Clandestino Lab, a precious plastic workspace using the sheet press to make art. Hi everyone, I'm Nawel. And I'm Juli, and this little guy is Rio, and together we are Clandestino Lab. Here in Clandestino, we're a design studio, and we create new stuff out of recycled plastic. The Picasso-like artworks that they make are of insane beauty, and I'm sure all of you will absolutely love it. And, surprise, surprise, we have a full tutorial on how to make it. Next, we're gonna cross over to Costa Rica, the country on everyone's mouth for their sustainability effort and lack of military. However, being there, we realized that, you know, when it comes to plastic recycling, there is still a long way to go. Costa Rica is very active when it comes to precious plastic workspaces. There's about a dozen all across the country. Okay, so I'm here with... Laura. Laura. I was actually just getting a coffee upstairs and I've seen some precious plastic products and I walked in and she's uh, about to set up a precious plastic store here in Evita, Costa Rica, in the coast. Having only a few weeks to spend there, I could only visit TRS, the recycling studio based in San Jose. This is a verified precious plastic workspace focusing again on the sheet press and making, trust me, the most incredible recycled sheets I have ever seen. Oliver and Olivia are absolutely obsessing over making the perfect sheet without any bubble and imperfection. And again, we're gonna make a full tutorial on how to make the perfect sheet with them. Once you have validated your plastic source, it's on to making the sheet itself. Now obviously one of the first steps you need to do. So if you're using the sheet press and having trouble with bubbles and imperfections, make sure to stick around because this is probably one of the most useful videos that you can find. A little pro tip for the Precious Plastic community, if you want to see the videos a week ahead, make sure to support on Patreon so you can access the video before everyone else. Plus additional exclusive downloads and tons of other perks. So if you want to support open source knowledge, make sure to check out our Patreon page. And last in this Precious Plastic series, we're going to be visiting Curaçao, one of the weirdest and most surreal places I have been recently. In this tiny Dutch island in front of Venezuela, they speak four languages, they have two currencies, and they have the weirdest mix of cultures. In Curaçao, we're gonna be visiting Limpy Recycling, a precious plastic workspace selling tens of thousands of products to tourists, helping them to take some of the plastic waste that is washing ashore on their beaches back home with them in their countries, which is a pretty neat approach, I must say. So we're here at the Souvenir, our home decoration store at the Redford Village. Uh, we're located right at the Mega Pier where all the cruise tourists pass to, to see the rest of Curaçao. 
And this is where we sell most of our souvenirs. We've sold about 65,000 uh, products this far and we recycled about uh, 6,000 kilos of plastic with all these products as well. And we like to think of it that the tourists are taking home our trash, our plastic waste. But for us, of course, it's not trash. It's something very valuable. I'm very, very excited about this Central America series. We have a lot of really juicy and beautiful videos coming out with tons of useful knowledge for you micro recyclers out there. Make sure to comment where we should go next and I'll see you next week in Panama. Ciao!